Hi, Clarinets. Welcome back. On today's video, we're going to do Accent Book 2, page number 3, which is also another accent on review page. Today, in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to review the note F sharp, A with the A key, high B flat third line, which uses our register key and our A key, and low B flat on the, this, the, below the first ledger line, and that requires three fingers on top and our first finger on the bottom. In the red box on the right, we've got an accent to play with more emphasis, like an exclamation point, ritardando, which means to gradually slow down, and a fermata symbol, which means to hold until a, compo a conductor cuts off the ensemble. Below that, we have a dotted half note. That gets three beats, and eighth notes, a pair of eighth notes, meaning two, gets one beat like a quarter note, but individually, each of those eighth notes get half of a beat. Also, we've got a pickup note. That's a note that comes before the first full measure. Dynamic markings, forte and piano, loud and soft, and the tempo marking, andante. Andante is about about a speed that you would walk casually. Imagine yourself walking somewhere nice and casually. The speed of your feet hitting the pavement, that's andante. Key signatures. When we have a key signature that has one flat, it's B flat, and the key is the key of F major. And if we have one sharp, that's the F sharp, and the key is G major. And finally, time signature three, four. That means we're gonna have three counts per measure. Whole notes will still get four, half notes will still get two, and quarter notes will still get one beat. Our first exercise today is an echo duet. It's an English folk song. I'll start by playing part A, you can join me, or you can play part B for an instant duet. Take in mind, you need to play F sharps and B naturals. Ready? And one, two, part A, go. <laughs> And here's part B, starting on a low B natural. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> You see that last note has a D-I-V period by it. That stands for divisi, and it means that as a player, you can pick either the top note or the bottom note, and if you have a partner, they could play the other one. Let's move on to our American folk song, Yankee Doodle, number six. This has a B flat in our key signature, and it's gonna use our accent tones, or accent notes, at the end of line, uh, at the end of the line. So let's play Yankee Doodle. Eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and ready, set, go. <laughs> Remember that you could always pause, practice, rewind, and review any of these exercises if you need more practice. Number seven is The Man on the Flying Trapeze. This piece also has a B flat, like number six, and it's in three, four time, meaning there are three counts per measure. One last thing, this song has a pickup note. That's a note that comes before the first full measure. In order to play this song, I'll count one, two, three, one, two, and following my number two, that's where you begin with that pickup note. Ready? 
One, two, three, one, two. And did you catch at the end there, we had a dotted half note tied to a quarter note? That would be four beats, like a whole note. Our last exercise is Merrily We Roll Along, and this has a first ending and a second ending. So take the first ending, do the repeat, and take the second ending. One and two, and here we go. <laughs> And there you have it, Accent Book 2, page number 3. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope to see you again soon. So keep practicing.